Well, there are too many Malaysians out there already. I mean, like new sites with that, you know, Malaysia something, Malaysian something. Um, we wanted to be, we wanted a name that's slightly different. So we thought, why not the nut graph? Graph is actually short for paragraph. Nut refers to the kernel or the main point of the story. So that's newsroom jargon. Um, but it's also kind of wacky and irreverent. In a, in a way, so we, we think that we we hope that it sort of reflects our um, our hope that we can at least see the humor or irony in certain situations. You know, it's okay to be able to laugh at something. People's approach or relationship with traditional media is changing, mm -hmm. and I think we don't respect that there are these changes and that readers are becoming more sophisticated in their demands. Then we're gonna lose our lives. You know, I think any kind of competition is good um, for any industry because it keeps us all on our toes. And in this instance, um, having online journalism that provides uh, stories that the, the traditional media cannot cover or, it's not, or doesn't want to cover, is a good way to keep us all on our toes, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, especially at a, at a juncture in our history where more and more people are reading the news online um, mm -hmm. and people are more sophisticated in their reading of the news. So uh, they, I'm sure um, we will also think about getting funding from various organizations, but we haven't really set out to do that yet. We've just started one week ago. <laughs> we're, we're, there's so many things that we need to do, so these things we will keep in view and we will see whether we want to do that in the future. terms so easily, um, you know, mainstream versus alternative, just because, well, firstly, that is inaccurate, and secondly, I think then it removes the kinds of nuances that are present in the media landscape. Huh? So, um, so we'd rather look at providing good journalism and staying away from bad journalism, no matter what the medium is. Do you really think that everything that is published in the print media is inaccurate or uh, biased? Do you think that everything that is published in the online media is necessarily accurate and fair? I think good journalism exists in you know, both media. Um, and so when both of us decided to do online, we decided that we would bring with us best practices of journalism to the online medium. Um, we are not promoting ourselves as being better than the traditional media um, because by virtue of the fact that we are online, you know, uh, we are trying to adhere to certain journalistic principles that are fair and ethical and responsible. And that is what will make us stand out from the crowd. Um, all the different legitimate stakeholders to have a say in the story and we will try our best to, to live up to that and I think that's a very important part of being fair and balanced in our coverage. Over the past week actually we had this little incident where we had to look at a story and then we had to go, Cindy went back to the editorial policy and said, hey you know what we promised this you know and we haven't quite delivered on this particular promise in this particular story. You know it really keeps us yeah mindful of what our journalistic duties are, to be fair, to be responsible, to be ethical, to be accountable, and we want to be accountable. Why shouldn't the media be held accountable? The best newspapers in the US are held accountable by various mechanisms from a press council to, and you know, they have the office of the ombudsperson, um, you know, that reviews what happens in the newsroom. They take calls and, and emails from readers. They really, really try and be accountable for the, the way that, we, that they report. And this is just our little mm -hmm. humble attempt at being accountable. Mm -hmm. So like, if we are able to live up to these ideals that we have set up ourselves, nobody coerces us to do this. We will demonstrate to the people in power that, you know what, we don't need press restrictive uh, legislation in, pra in mm -hmm. place to control us. What you need is, um, you know, just really good values and really, really good um, ethical practices to drive good journalism in this country. You know, one of the promises that we make to our readers is that we will connect the dots mm -hmm. and make sense of what's going on in the country as much as we can to the best of our ability. We're not going to just do very straightforward, he said, she said kind mm -hmm. of reporting. We want to connect the dots, we want to present the big picture, a lot of work has to go into it.
and we want to take pride in, in being able to produce that kind of stories, but it's not going to be easy, and we, yeah, it's part and parcel of what we set out to do. <laughs>